morning everybody welcome back to Kamarala so today is Saturday morning and uh, I've missed having Tanzanian food so yesterday we decided to go buy some cassava and make a Tanzanian breakfast which is cassava we call it muhogo I'm wearing uh, one of the Tanzanian traditional clothes I don't know if it's traditional but it's called a dera it's like a long dress and it sometimes comes with a headscarf how do I look? good? good? Sarah is here. Hi, Hi say good morning. Good morning. Oh, show them your phone. Hey, this is Sarah's your phone. It's a toy phone. And Ismail's here. Ismail, what are you doing? Hi, guys. Yeah, hi, guys. And Dina's there. Dina, say morning, guys. Okay, so today's experiment I'm trying to make Muhogo breakfast for the first time. Um, I know it's so weird. It's like super simple. Let me show you. It has a very thick layer, so all you gotta do is just just cut it in the middle, and then just tilt the knife a little bit. You see the skin will peel off. So um, you can just do this, and the skin comes off so easily. Wow. Here, yeah, boiling. We got some kwaju here made here is some cassava um i peeled it and i'm just boiling it with some salt yeah it's not ready yet and then once that's done i'm gonna fry it and then you're just gonna open it and it's supposed to be like super soft in the inside and crispy on the outside and i'm trying to make some kachumbari uh, so i'm gonna make a kachumbari here and the kachumbari usually is a garnish to the muhogo Oh my god, we had this for breakfast, so you should have hot water and put some pili uh, salt and some, some paprika or like chili powder and then you have the kachumbari on top. And most of the time we have this with some mishkaki on the side, which is like beef skewers. But today we don't have that. So yeah, yeah, nice and clean now. Yeah, I'm making kachumbari so that we can eat, okay? Hold on, let me finish, okay? You see those cassavas? They're looking ready. They're so soft. I'm speaking in a Mombasa accent, guys. Chatini huku ya tengezwa leo mambo mazito leo. Hi, baby. You also can speak Swahili. speak Swahili. Say mambo. Mambo. Leo, sama leo tunakula chakula. Leo tunakula. Nena chakula. 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 Chakiswahili. Chakiswahili. Sema kwa nguvu basi sikusikii. Leo 
Leo. Tunakula. Tunakula. Chakula. Chakula. Cha Kiswahili. Cha Kiswahili. Maposho pocho. Maposho pocho. Mahanjumati. 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 Eh. Nitafuteni chuma kizuri. Angalia chuma changu na kunibobolea vitu mwa vyangu. Maana tuna chef hapa bombasti huyo. Like it's too much, I'm saying. What typical mohogo meal would look like this? Okay, let me take this one and then hold on. You gotta break it up in the middle. Look at how soft that is. Can you see how it's flaky? Yes, and then you have kachumbari, which is the salsa. Oh, wait, let me just add a little bit of salt. Okay. Oh, it's kidogo. It's nice to that have the salt on top. And then kidogo chili powder. Okay. <laughs> then you have a little bit of chili powder. Okay. And then you have the kachumbari, which is the salsa. Is this what? This is like mango, uh, sorry, onions, tomatoes. I'm gonna put I it know what in it is. It's what? See that that right there and you see that? is what we call mohogo na kachumbari. You usually put some chili in there, but because of the kids, I'm not. But you know what? I'm gonna take a little twist to this kachumbari. Sara, stop dipping your fingers, girl. I'm gonna make a little twist to this. I have a mango in the fridge, and yeah, I'm good, gonna good, add good. in a mango because like this is gonna add a little bit Mama, of flavor. I, like I know it's not traditionally Tanzanian, but you know what? This is a little bit of modern twist to it. Okay, Sarah, try this out. Let what? me see. Wait, yeah. the mohogo. Give it a try. Is this one to see spicy? No, it's not that spicy. Okay, try it out. Smile's having it already. Just you cut a piece like that. Okay? It's, ooh, it's hot. See that it's flaming? And you take the salad, which is a kachumbari, and then you try it together. It's but, hot. You gotta blow first. But it's not a kachumbari. You need to put more. More what? More of it. I didn't try. It's hot, be careful. Blow. Watch how we do. Hold it, Lancy. Brunch. So I'd like to say, Sasa, Sasa, Sasa. For breakfast and lunch, it's a brunch. I'm going to go to the hotel. Hey! Where are you going to go? Hey, Auntie Ara, I'm going to go to the hotel. Apo na isika uko apo stabe? Mhm. Si wengine mwenye wengine. Na dina. Na dina na nadia po eh? For someone who's not tried Swahili food na nadia po mambo. Hatari na kumbi ya. Iki tu hatari na mbio hatari. Kumbi ya raha pale. Eh? Mwisho wa mambo. Masikini masikini mshirai. No. So you gotta eat with the kachumbari. Na chakwa ya mbogo, kitu laini, eti jina wangu wa kisulagi kachwa. Eh? Nwa ya tali, nangumbia ni unga. Unga kachwa. Okay, wait, you can sit here. Sarah, Hey, those who don't know what this is, I say, you know, this is how you eat cassava the Swahili way. I'm going to eat the Swahili way. Wow. This is Sarah's one. Wow, 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 wow. Look at it. Hmm. Sarah, you're going to give us a try. Look at that. Look at that. Good catch on party. Good boy. I love you. You got to just take a piece of that. I'm going to use my bandage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, you got to take that, Sarah. Put it in the salad here. Look at it, Sarah. Put it in the salad. 
gotta eat I don't it. eat it. I cannot do that. You can do it. Okay, just take a smaller piece then. You gotta take it like that. Sarah, I can't. I'm using a left hand. I'm trying to feed you. So we have all the mogos ready. And that's the mango salsa I made. It's a kachumbari. But I just added some cucumber and some mangoes. Some people do add cucumber in Tanzania. But the mango is just what I feel like putting in. And it has added in such a good kick. Oh my god, the kids love it. And this is what a kitumbua looks like on the inside. Ooh, look at that. 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 So guys, we just finished having breakfast and that was so fulfilling. A little bit of home away from home. If you are looking for uh, cassava in Malaysia, it's very available in uh, some supermarkets, but mostly I go to Choke It Wet Market and I can get it. And also if you are buying a lot, you, might, you wanna peel all of them and chunk them in the freezer because if you leave them out, they're definitely gonna spoil. Some of the cassava here that's been grated for later today for me. I know it looks like ready cheese, right? Yeah. This is some ukwaju, so this is tamarind, water, some chili, and some carrot. You're just gonna boil that, and later you're gonna blend it up, and you're gonna have a tamarind paste. So you just gotta put in some co coconut, but with the whatever, onions, squeeze some lime. Sure. Yeah. 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 This is black eyed peas soaked overnight. See that? So you're gonna remove the covers for those that come out, but those that doesn't come out, it's okay. Mm -hmm. So you want to remove the cover? Yeah, you want to remove the cover. And then just keep the main one. My cover. So to a food processor, we add in our black eyed peas, some chilies, and some salt. And we're going to add in some garlic. Some onion. 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 Add in onion. Huh? Onion. And some chopped onions. See that one there? And what else? And then you mix that in a food processor. Hey Afro Squad. So just a quick update. It's been a hectic day here because we were trying to make uh, the street food called Zanzibar mix. Uh, and we have to cook every little part of it individually. So it kind of took us uh, some time to prepare, but we're done with it. And we're gonna go and have that for dinner. So we started out with our brunch, which was um, the rice cake, which is called Vitumbua, and the cassava. And now we're gonna have dinner. Let us go and see how it looks. If y'all are away from home and you're missing it, like how I do, you would definitely understand how this feels. So, let me show you. Hectic day, but we managed to get the badias done. They're a little bit uh, unperfect, but yeah, it goes. And this is kachori, it's like potato balls. So you got your badia, you got your kachori, and then we also made this. This is cassava crisps, and it's about to go down. So, also adding on some nyama choma, but we're doing this on a choma on the front. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
so that is the rollo, which is like a soupy substance. Mama. We have the cassava crisps right there. That's like a garnish. There's some beef there. I love it. Bagia, kachori, some chutney, some tamarind sauce. Well, let me see this. And a little bit of lemonade to take this down. So I'm super excited about trying this. Let's go. Let me show you how it's done. Start by putting the kachori, which is the potato balls. And then you follow by having the bagia, which is fat. Add in your chicken meat. Add in the cassava chips. This is the top, right? When I come with you. Oh, okay. So put in some chutney. Ooh, that looks spicy. After you put some kwaji, which is like a little bit of chili. Ooh. Yum. And then you put some broyo on top of that, baby. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Look at that. So all of these things you put in there are gonna kind of melt with the soup together. And that's how it looks like. Yeah, hello, 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 my boy. <laughs> recording <laughs> 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 Wait. Oh, that's mine. It's mine. That's mine. <laughs> Wait, jump back. What you eating, Mama? Soup. Soup? What soup? Yellow soup. No, it's called mix. Mix? Yeah, mix. I heard Oh, la la. This is a home away from home. Kito Hatari. Hi, guys. What do you want to say to the camera? I'm busy. <laughs> okay, clearly no one wants me to say nothing. Bye, Mix. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this next to my bay, watching a movie. Do you wanna try some? No, it's like thanks. a soup. No. <laughs> so yeah, guys, if you like this. And if you want to try this at home, go for it. it. Does take a little bit of time, but I'll try to share some of the recipes with you. But yeah, if you like it, please remember to subscribe to our channel for more interesting and fun videos. Goodbye.